Hello. Uh, I just thought I'd um, show you the uh, table we've I've put together for a uh, bolt action game this weekend. Um, so it's uh, it's a breakout game. Um, so essentially, the Germans start this end of the board. So if I just move around a little bit, so the Germans are starting this end of the board. Um, so they, that represents the edge of the town. So in their first battle, they would have there was a beach landing. So they pressed on into the town, and now they're trying to break out into the countryside. And the British start that end of the board, and their uh, their objective is to stop the Germans uh, getting three units off that end of the board. Um, so in the middle we have uh, a farm, some fields, all providing sort of soft cover. The walls are hard cover. Uh, that's supposed to represent a, a forest, a wooded forest, so it's impassable uh, to vehicles. Uh, but of course infantry can move through. And you can shoot out if you're in there, you can't shoot through it. Um, you know, there's plenty of buildings for the Germans to put uh, artillery spotters in, snipers, that kind of thing. Uh, but the main axis of advance, I think, is going to be this road. And the British have kind of covered that with a machine gun uh, up there. <clears throat> so the Germans are going to have a pretty hard time. Uh, they either have to come around the sides uh, and ignore the road completely. Because I'm pretty sure the British will have that ranged quite nicely with uh, mortars and uh, anti-tank guns. Um, or they, they charge down the road, yeah. So uh, For the Germans, they've got a, a tank, uh, either a Panzer III or a Panzer IV, and an armoured car. Maybe a half-track actually instead of an armoured car. Um, and the British have got a, uh, a Matilda II tank and a, a Brengen carrier plus infantry squads, right? So, uh, yeah, the Germans either sacrifice uh, the two speedy units, you know, two uh, vehicles, and get them off the board, thus getting two, two, uh, uh, two elements of their uh, three that they need off the board, you know, pretty, pretty quickly. But then it leaves their troops with no sort of uh, heavy uh, support, and then the leaving the infantry to fight it out basically or everybody uh, sort of advances slowly um, and the British really are just playing a holding action just to try and delay the whole thing. Uh, the British can have uh, one uh, unit on the board um, set up as a, a, a hidden unit so either something in the farmyard there or maybe in the trees um, and the Germans uh, all start this end of the board, so they're, they're coming on here in the first turn, and the British are coming on this way. The Germans have got their uh, their nuns, their uh, fifth column, which they can put anywhere on the board at all. So it might be a good idea for the Germans to put their nuns right by this uh, bunker to try and take that out uh, in turn one. I can't imagine the nuns are going to uh, last very long. Um, or they take the chance and put the the nuns maybe in the in the farmyard or behind the uh, the wood there to try and trying to figure out where the British player is going to put the anti-tank gun. Uh, but yeah, so that's the board, so it should be a fairly good game. We normally play uh, two or three rounds of it. Um, we take it in turns to be the, the attacker or the defender. Um, potentially we get four in, so you know, two each way. Uh, but then beer happens and uh, we kind of stop playing and go to the pub. So that's the, uh, that's the idea for the weekend. Um, I'll try and remember to take some pictures, but you know how things happen, you know, beer happens, we forget. But uh, I thought I'd give you a view of the, the board. Bye for now.